Welcome home. I mean, it's been a little while since she got home. But we are going to work on a skill that we've been working on. Oh, good job. <laughs> and it's actually called... Folding. Really? Folding. Yeah. Huh? You ready to fold some clothes? We have been working on folding clothes with Rayleigh with a special tool that we found. It's we called... always have tools for everything. I, know. I feel well, like we're always trying to stuff out. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should do like re reviews on these things, like really <laughs> just things that we found and are like, hey, yeah, I think like this might help. like real professional reviews. <laughs> we got something called a flip and fold. I don't know if it's title. That's just what we always call them at Target. <laughs> Is that what we call it? Yeah. See, her clothes are just too small. We need to get the kid size one, but this is what we have. Yeah. So, it's called a flip and fold. We call it a flip and fold. Not exactly sure what it's called. I think uh, they have different brands and stuff. So. The Box Legend? That's that this the one. Brand? I think that's the brand. But basically, it's a clothes, a t shirt folding thing. Yeah. It could be a pants folder too. Let's show everybody how you do it. So I showed her this a couple times and she picked up on it really fast. <laughs> You're gonna do it without the shirt in there? She's showing us how to do it. <laughs> okay, we put the shirt on, Braylee. Okay, what do we do? You do it? Show me. Nice work, dude. Good stuff, Braylee. And then we put it in our pile right here, huh? But this is something that. We thought she's definitely old enough to help with some of the chores and life skills stuff. This is a big life skill for her to learn. Yeah. So we're still helping her out by setting it up and taking them off. Because, I mean, if you grab it wrong, it's going to come completely undone. But she's got the in-between part done really well. Yeah. Good nice stuff, work, really. Dude. I was doing laundry with it myself one day because it helps me fold clothes and make them all uniform. And uh, I left the room and I came back and really took one of my folded things, unfolded it, and was trying to do it herself. So she understands the concept really well. Yeah. I was going to say a lot of people say I hate doing laundry, but then some people will do laundry and then it's the folding that they don't like. Yeah. This helps me get motivated to want to fold clothes because David does most of the washing of our clothes and then I do all the folding, like all of it. I even started using it a little bit because yeah. I now I do like folding. Yeah. And something that we found helpful, especially for some of those of you that have kids Braley's age or older or maybe even younger and are just really good at that type of stuff. Yeah, it helps her get them involved. to help around the house and it's a really, really good future life skill. She she really enjoys tasks with uh, start and end points, clear start and end points, and that's literally what that is. It's a starting end point of folding a piece of clothing. And, and it's a multiple step thing as well. Yeah, three steps. At least. Really? You're so good at that. Yeah. So we've been, yeah, we've been working on that with her. We've been giving her opportunity to fold with us and fold her own clothes, which I, that is a life skill. Yeah, that eventually. Yeah, how to do it now at eight and a half years old. Yeah, I don't even that's know if a, I... That's a great skill for her. We haven't tried hanging yet. I think that'll be our next step. Hanging, hanging up clothes. close, yeah. It just doesn't make a lot of sense right now getting close to move. Yeah. Because we're not hanging a lot of stuff up. Yeah, we're kind of in a transitional period at the moment. But I don't even... When did I learn how to fold my own clothes? Well, when I worked at Target, I worked in their clothing area a few times, and I ha they had me fold clothes folding. Wow, I realize I am really not good at folding clothes. Like, I tried to fold, there's like a clean stack of clothes over here, and then I had to fold these ones right here. I was like, okay, I can make them look the same. So I start folding them and it's just, it's just a big mess. It was not even close. I could not figure out how to fold. Like, I even had the, like the manager, boss or whatever, show me how to do it. Yeah, to clean up these tables. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I made these tables any better. Probably made them worse. <laughs> yeah, not not for everybody, that's for sure. Yeah. So yeah, that that flip and fold. I call it flip and fold. We call it a flip and fold. I'm sure that's not what it's called, mm -hmm. but it definitely you should, uh, link has the definitely helped. We have, though. 
Yeah, we'll link it. And then I think we'll also find the kid size one. Yeah, we need a kid size one. Probably order one for her. Yeah. I think they make like infant toddler size too, you know, because all those clothes are different sizes. Yeah. And so they fold up different. We know that she can and will use it. We should probably get her one more appropriately sized for her own clothing. So it's not just like, Braley, fold my clothes, because that's just messed up. So, yeah. Maybe there'll be a point where Braley can. Well, I think. <laughs> If they're fold to her size or whatever, she's. I think we can get her to pick them up and put her in their dresser yeah. eventually. I think maybe when they're in a bigger stack, but maybe not individually, you know, because they kind of fall apart when they're individually, but maybe once they're stacked, have her put them in the right drawer. Yeah. Hey, steps steps toward uh, giving her independence. independence and this girl loves her independence, so. Yeah, she likes doing things on her, on her own. Like, it happens so much. We do something for her and she has to redo it because she... She wants it done herself. Like, part of it may be OCD, but another part of it might be just, hey, I want to do it. Yeah. Like, it's a kid. Like, when I was a kid, I was like, I would rather do it. I want to do that. Or, it's like a pride thing. Well, and it's like, she can do it, so let her do it. Yeah. You know? Because it's that confidence of knowing how to do something and then doing it yourself. Being like, hey, I did that. Mm -hmm. So... Just like when she makes her own mac and cheese. Yep. She, she won't even let us do her do 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 We really just did a microwave part, that's about it. Well, and she used to do it, I think she's just a little, she doesn't want to push the chair over and do it. When we move though, the microwave's going to be counter height, she can do it herself. Yeah, she could. We, should, we might need to put a lock on that because no metal in the microwave. <laughs> she she has been known to put things in the microwave that should not be microwaved. Yeah. She and hasn't turned it on. This stuff, she just sets a cup of mac and cheese with the metal fork in the microwave kind of thing. She's she's not yet turned it on with something that should not be in there, but it's only a matter of time. Let's not wait for it to happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get a lock for it. Well, we will. When we move, we're actually we're going to go through our whole house and make sure it's Braley proofed for we'll have to safety. Redo a Braley child proof video type thing. We never really did one for this house. No, because it was already all done. Yeah. So by the time we started vlogging, everybody uses different stuff though, and I know that what works for one person won't may not work for someone else. Oh my gosh, else. she's but, so hungry. But it doesn't hurt to see what you guys do too with your doors and locks and stuff. But who knows, maybe maybe there is something that um, we'll come across that we could use in our oh, new home. When we get our new laundry room, we should get her a step stool in there and have her fold everything on the counter. Yeah, we could and have her fold in the laundry matching room. matching socks. Well, after that folding talk, I couldn't think of a pun. Well, I'm going to fold this right on into the next segment of the video. Yeah, that didn't work either. These these clothings are now um fold um flipping the clothes. Now it's time to move on to f I give up. I don't have any puns for that. I flailed. No, nope, that didn't work either. I think we're going to end this video here. Yep, it's almost bedtime. We're about an hour away. So, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is so good, huh? Yeah.